Bulldogs 26, Phyllis and Rovers 32. Andy, your thoughts on the match? I thought it was very tough, uh, a tough affair. You know, there, there was a, a good battle in the forwards, which we thought there was going to be. You know, having been here before and uh, looking at the scores in the recent past with with Featherstone and Batley games, it was, uh, it was always going to be a tough game with some real good competition within uh, within the two sides. So, uh, saying that, I thought we looked comfortable at some stages, but but didn't really. Uh, control the game very well so uh, a lot of uh, things for me to look forward to in training during the week and, and fixing up some problems with our, you know, our, our kicking game and our sort of tactical management of the game. A couple of times you built up good lead, you had a 12-0 lead in the first half, 32-18, sorry 32-16 I think it was in the second, both times Battler came back, that must be disappointing for you. Yeah it was, you know we've, we've scored some very nice tries and put some good play on but the most disappointing part was Obviously, keeping Batley in the game, I thought, which we did, uh, and you know they're not going to give up, and they're a tough side, and uh, they've got some real good players in there. But we just kept giving them opportunities, and you know, it's something we're going to have to fix up playing the uh, the better sides in the competition. In the second half, you switched around James Mendeika and Ben Helliwell to switch Mendeika to the wing. Was that because of the couple of mistakes from Helliwell in the first half? No, it wasn't. No, he's. Uh, w- we spoke about it during the week. We were going to switch them both around anyway at half time, uh, give them a half a game centre and half a game wing. Just just so happened that Ben dropped a couple of plays, so uh, it may look like that, but it wasn't. Now he, uh, they both knew there was what they were going to be doing at half time. They swapped over, and I think you know, Ben unfortunately made a couple of drops, but I thought they both played reasonably well overall. Any injury news from today's game? No, Greg obviously limped off in the first half, which you know did uh, disrupt our, our game plan a little bit with the subs bench and. Uh, great stint from Andy Ellis to do about 70 minutes so uh, just just Greg really uh, hobbled off so I'm not sure we haven't got the report yet on him What was the news with George Flanagan today named as the 18th or 19th man was that tactical or? Well no I just wanted to uh, go with a, a real big bench and it was Jack Bussey and it, it's come out good in the end because you know, with the swi- switch with Greg and we had to put um, Jamie Corden out into the centre as well and we used our back rows up but it, was, it wasn't really tactical in any part I just thought um, the way we went with the bench, I thought I wanted to Jack see Jack roll in at nine a little bit, which he didn't get opportunity to do, and uh, you know go with the bigger forwards. Chris Green and Danny Bridge on debut for Featherstone today. How do you think they did? I thought they both had a good input into the game. Yeah, I thought uh, you could see Danny Bridge had, had, has missed a few weeks and not played, so his fitness told on him a little bit. But toughed it out, and I thought you know I knew what we'd get from Chris Green, and he ran well and almost go over for a debut try and. Uh, he looked, he looked, uh, looked to be in good shape and played some good minutes for us. And Jason Crooks to come in next week. We'll, we'll be having a look at him during the week to see if he starts next week. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, uh, going to happen there yet. I'm not sure if it's done or not, so I can't give you information. But if he does come in, we'll be having a good look at him on Tuesday. Yeah. And your thoughts looking ahead to next week? And what are your thoughts on the match next week? I haven't had too many thoughts on it yet. <laughs> Trying to get this one, uh, this one out of the way and f- keep fully focused on this. But I uh, will. Uh, We'll get back in on Tuesday, we'll re- review this video, uh, pick up on some uh, issues that haven't worked for us this weekend and, uh, and put, some, uh, put some things back into place and, and fix some things up. And, you know, I, I was pleased with our defence overall, but it doesn't sound right when we've let a lot of points in, so I've got to have a look at some indi- individual errors and defensive errors as well. Andy, thanks for your time. No worries, thank you.